Also this noon, the woman at the center of Bill Cosby's sexual assault trial is back in court. The jury hears more testimony today from Andrea Constand. Before this week, she had never publicly spoken about her alleged encounter with Cosby in 2004. Good afternoon, I'm Rahel Solomon. And I'm Jim Donovan. It's Constan's allegations that led Cosby to face criminal charges. Our Joe Holden has been following the trial all week long. He joins us live now from the Montgomery County Courthouse in Norristown with today's developments. Joe. Jim Rahel, good afternoon. And Andrea Constan has been testifying all morning. Bill Cosby's defense team is trying to paint inconsistencies in her testimony from meetings she had with the actor and comedian in 2003 and 2004. They are also trying to paint a picture of a woman who apparently knew that Bill Cosby was interested in her romantically. That is a point she denied under cross-examination. Well, Constant is the central witness for the prosecution. Here she is coming into the courtroom. She testified late afternoon yesterday that on a night in January 2004, Cosby offered her three pills to help her relax, telling Constan they were natural or herbal. Prosecutors have previously contended those pills were quaaludes. Constan claims she blacked out, was frozen, and eventually awoke to Cosby assaulting her. Lawyers for the comedian have vehemently denied Constan was drugged and assaulted. Attorney Gloria Allred, who is representing some other women who've accused Cosby of similar conduct, say inconsistencies in Constan's testimony are minor. They can go through minor inconsistencies all day long, all night long. It's still not going to go to the issue of was she incapacitated by those pills and was she even able to consent or not consent? Now, Cosby faces three counts of indecent assault. The high-profile nature of the trial has assured one thing. The court has been stern in its handling of the many reporters covering the trial. Cell phone use inside that courtroom is prohibited. And the judge issued a stern warning that members of the jury are apprehensive and no member of the press should attempt to contact them. That is a court order. Now, the courts have initiated contempt proceedings against one member of the press it was announced today. It is unclear what the alleged violation is, but that person will now have to appear before Montgomery County's president judge. So at uh, the latest, we could tell Andrea Constan will remain on the stand under cross-examination and then a redress of direct examination for some time. Count on all of the latest from the Cosby trial starting on Eyewitness News at 5. Live in Norristown, Joe Holden, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Joe. We look forward to your updates. Well, 